Hey there guys, just a quick tutorial on how to use the CCG launcher for like if you want to download and play the mods for like Armour 2 Epoch, Armour 3 Epoch, um, not Epoch, Overpoch, I think you can play Epoch on it too, but I've used it to play Armour 3 Overpoch, um, I think you can also play Wasteland and other mods uh, for Armour, but uh, this is just a quick tutorial on also how to manually add the files for Armour 2 because if you notice when I get into it I'll show you the Armour 2 the file paths they're blank they don't automatically fill in um, but anyway let's just start off what you need to do is I just googled CCG launcher and it come up with I'll just go back come up with like this little page it's the top link here um, I'll, I can put the link in the description and anyway, it comes up with a little web page so what you want to do just down here where it says CCG launcher there's a, a pinned t topic that says CG CCG launcher download and instructions click on that comes up with a little topic bit and then just down here it says download the latest version here and click on that and then that'll come up with to download the launcher once you've that's downloaded click on it and it'll set it all up once you get it you'll get onto it might be sort of like small if you can sort of see this I just sort of maximize it it'll come up with this what you want to do on the top left here it says news and servers and then it comes up with all the different servers for like whatever there is for armor your daisy standalone and whatever now for example because I wanted armor 3 and I wanted to play over POC so I put armor 3 in and it comes up with all the servers for armor 3 now you've got like the altus map, the new born on map um, Panthera for over POC, Chernerus and then all the same here um, CCG that's the US server and OP stands for over POC, that's over POC 1 Altus, Altus and you, you, you get the idea and there is, yeah there you go, you got Wasteland here, Wasteland Wars, that's on Stratus, never played that, and um, Macus Test Server, I don't know what that is. Now I thought you could do Epoch as well this way, but it looks like you've only got Overpoch. Anyway, so whatever server you want to do, is you would just click on it, or probably double click. Um, well you can just single click and it comes up with this right bit and you can click join. Now, this should, I think I've down, already downloaded all the mods needed. But whatever mod you need, like if you want to play Chernerus, you, you need the all-in armor terrain pack. You, if you click on it and try and join it, it will automatically download the mods for you. Now, you can be waiting hours depending on how good your download speed is. Um, and I think I had four mods to install altogether. Uh, so I think if you play obviously Altus or uh, Stratus, you don't need the all-in terrain pack and I think the all in terrain pack is the biggest file there so that's what it takes longest so depending on what mod you need, what map you play it could take you hours, it, well it's going to probably take you at least a couple hours to download all the mods um, maybe an hour depending on what internet um, download speed you got anyway so once all that's downloaded you can obviously then just click on it and it'll play it now um, so that's that's basically that simple yeah you just click on it and it'll come up with to install the mods and I think you can just click OK or whatever so that's pretty simple but the other thing I just want to show you which I had to do and I've deleted one just for demonstration purposes now when you go to settings top right here by donate you got donate settings click settings now you've got your armor 2 path your armor 2 operations operation arrowhead path and armor 3 path now this armor 3 one just highlight it that automatically got filled in these armor 2 ones they were blank it didn't automatically fill them in and when you ever you start it it comes up with a message cannot find path for armor 2 and armor 2 operation edge you have to manually put it in which I'll show you that now in a minute now for me I don't know if it's going to be the same for you guys but for me it didn't fit, automatically fill it in um, if it does for you that's great uh, so now I don't really play I do play armor 2 now and again very rarely but I may have got this for armor 3 over POC but I might try over POC and armor 2 that looks quite fun 
but I was just fed up with the me message every time you load up the CCG launcher I fell up with the message popping up every time so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close it down and now down my sort of taskbar at the bottom here I'll click on it to open it back up there you go here's this message unable to locate armor 2 OA operation arrowhead install please manually enter the path now just click OK and it'll come up with the launcher now if you click settings and this blank box here is the message you come up with if I'm a two path was empty it would also come up with two messages both of them but I've just got rid of the one just purely for demonstration purposes as you don't need to see me do two so what I'm going to do is go to my like file thing uh, this PC your PC sort of thing now where Armour 2 is obviously installed, so it's your C drive for me, you might have it on an external drive or some other drive. Um, and then program files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Armour 2, is Armour 2 there and Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead's there. Now I've already got, I don't know if you can see it as well, but I've already got the Armour 2 path in, I just need to do the Operation Arrowhead. So I just click on that. Now there might be a quicker way, a more efficient way of doing this, but this is the way I did it and this is the way I found easy and obviously I'm explaining here, but if I wasn't explaining this would have been done what, 10 seconds, 10 or 15 seconds I could have done this. So basically just sort of click on it so, or click and drag and make sure it's all highlighted. Right click, copy. Now you can close that down. Now you go back into like obviously your CCG launcher. Now if you already had yours open like I did, I just closed it and reopened it. Uh, you just go to settings and where operation arrow path is, I can just right click and paste. Now that is pasted where my operations to arrowhead is saved to. Now just click save and it saves. Again, I don't know what open mod folder. Oh that's just purely where my mods are. See that's what I downloaded as well. All in terrain pack, emod 31, epoch 0302 and mass 18. Automatically downloaded downloaded them because that was what was needed for the uh file. So there's no manual. You can I think you can get the, all these manually. Um and there's other launchers you can get like the A3 launcher. Um but the all in armor train pack didn't really download on the A3 launcher for me. It kept pausing and crashing and the CCG launcher just did it so quickly. Um just more efficient so I recommend this CCG launcher so that's how you can see what mods you want as well if you go to open mod folder um, so you can see I have got them installed now so yeah once you've basically copied and pasted that the file path into there just click save and save it now if I close this down now if you can hopefully see the mouse I'll reopen it again and if you notice it's opened it back straight back up without that message coming up and go back to settings and there you go it's still automatically in there that's saved so for you guys if even if you don't pl play, plan on playing armor 2 like at all and you use this to uh, just want to play overpock or something on the CCG launcher and you're fed up with that message coming up and you didn't know how to do this now you just basically do what I just did I just did it for operations arrowhead, um, but you basically do the same for Opera Armor 2. You just go back into program files, 86, is it Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then find Armor 2. Copy it all and paste it. Now, you guys aren't stupid, but if there's anyone new to doing stuff like this, that's what I find an easy way of doing it. Like I said, there might be an easier way, there might be somewhere where you can just do a one click thing, which looking at this I don't think there is um, but like I said 10 to 15 seconds just to go into that copy it come back here and paste it that's all it takes so it's a, it's a quick it's a quick and efficiently way of doing it I find and that saves every time so anyway guys I hope that was helpful in some way um, thanks for watching I'll catch you guys again bye bye